I can finally live out my childlike fantasies of playing around in a ball pit. I sure hope Sonic doesn't get pink eye though. Hello everybody, I'm Garilla64 and welcome back to Sonic Fan Games. Today we've got Sonic Time Twisted. A game that I have played before, on the channel in fact, but it was... I, I don't even know how long ago it was. So I'm gonna play it again. But uh, I did notice that over here it's weird, I do have a file already, but I didn't have the game downloaded until yesterday. So it's kind of strange that it remembered my progress. It must have had like a uh... There's Knuckles with his little hat. It's nice. It must have some kind of uh... I don't know. It, it must save files in, like, another location that I didn't know about, but that's cool. I guess you can just recall your progress like that. Didn't get very far, it looks like, but who cares. Uh, and there we go. Knuckles and Tails must go. Their planets need them. And here we are, an attraction attack zone. I love the name of this place. <laughs> it's just alliteration I always, uh, I always mention is a thing that I like. Of course, I believe... Doesn't two A sounds have a different name? something. Isn't vowels, like, they have a different name other than alliteration? I, I'm an English major, I should know this, but they don't really teach you things like that in college. They kind of, like, they just expect you to analyze the hell out of every single thing they force you to read. Just kind of like, hey, why do I need this if I want to be an author or whatever, you know? Like, like, my journalist friends are like, we don't need to know about any of this analysis stuff because, you know, we're just going to be reporting the news. And, you know, I, I feel that. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Hey, I was hoping I'd find this. So, the special stages in this game are actually really cool. They're 3D, like Sonic CD, and like Sonic Mania. Except, instead of collecting rings to continue your timer, you basically just collect rings for bonus stuff. You can also collect shields. The thing is here, uh, you'll see down at the bottom there, you see a Metal Sonic counter and a Sonic counter. And if you don't beat Metal Sonic to the goal, that's it for you. One really cool thing, though, that I really like is that if you fail the special stage, you can actually pay a life to continue the stage and try again. And if you pick up lives in the stage itself, you basically have unlimited retries. And wow, that was very close. But Sonic got the first Chaos Emerald, and Metal Sonic is off to God knows where to do God knows what. Alright, um, so I have completed this game before. And I have been thinking about live streaming it lately because I've been doing a lot of like, I've been doing a lot of handheld uh, Sonic games on the DS because of the DS capture card. And uh, I'm going to continue to do those, but I don't know what I want to do next. So I've been thinking about a lot of things. I have, you know, obviously some real games, some modern games like Heroes I want to do. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I've been thinking about fan games as well. Like I, I might do before, uh, after the sequel DX or I might do Time Twisted. I know this game is long, like it's got like, I think something crazy like over 13 zones or something? All I remember is, uh, I played this to completion when I was in the hospital like a, like two or three years ago. This isn't the same hospital trip I, I mentioned in the, uh, the Sonic Utopia video, but uh, it's just I was there and I was bored and I had my laptop and I decided to play Sonic Time Twisted and I got through the entire game before they even came to take me in for whatever procedure I was going for, and it was like, okay, that's uh, it's kind of pathetic, because they're like, hey, it'll happen sometime today. And usually that means it's probably not going to happen at all that day, but instead it just took like four or five hours from then. And it's like, you know, you can't eat until, like, I mean, for at least my specific thing, usually I wasn't able to eat. So it was like, hey, let me just starve for, you know, a full day and play Sonic Time Twisted and, I don't know, try to get my hopes up a little bit. It's just a little ridiculous, you know? Like, I hate it when they do that. I don't know if anyone else has experienced stuff like that. But, I mean... I don't know. I recognize there are other people in hospitals, too, but, like, come on. At least let me eat. Also, that's a weird place for a flower to grow. I mean, I'm glad it's happy, but, like, I don't know how long it's gonna be able to stay there. I don't know if it's gonna get much sunlight here in wherever the heck this is. Also, I really like this gimmick with the uh, past and present poles here. Instead of running by it and having to maintain a certain speed for a certain amount of time, like in Sonic CD, all you gotta do is go a little fast right by the pole, and Sonic grabs it, and he does this really cool, like, I, 
I don't know, slingshot move. Almost like, uh, it reminds me of... Kind of reminds me of the, one of the abilities from Earthbound where you kind of like... You run for... Well, no, the old version kind of reminded me of that. This reminds me of, um... Oh, what does it remind me of? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but it's better, in my opinion. Also, we also have cutscenes. And, uh, this cutscene has some fairly shocking news in it, especially for when I was playing it the first time. You know, everyone's like, yo, Eggman's up to this, right? He's up to his old tricks, and Sonic's like, nah, man. He dead. And it's just, it's so casually dropped that it's like, no, yes, he was in space and he died to death. But Metal Sonic's here from the future. And he's ready to challenge us once again. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, this fight is, uh... I mean, it's the first mini-boss, so it's not really... Not really too much trouble. So, uh, yeah, that, that's it. But, uh... <laughs> now we're heading into Attraction Attack Zone Act 2. And I honestly really like that it's kind of seamless like that. It reminds me of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And it's even cooler because, like, that was a boss encounter, and usually that'd be the end of the zone or whatever. But in this, it's just like they work it really well into the game itself. So, now we have things like bumpers coming in and out of the background foreground, kind of like a like Kirby Triple Deluxe or something. We've got... That reminds me of the, uh, the Barrel of Death from Casino... Uh, Casino Night? Not Casino Night. Uh, Carnival Night Zone. There I go again. And, uh, I mean, except it's, it's literally out for blood this time. And we got Ball Pits! Thank goodness. I uh, was never really allowed to play in those when I was a kid, even when, like, when we went to Chuck E. Cheese, because my mom said they were way too dirty. And I guess I figured that out once I realized some kid had, like, yacked up into the ball pit. And I was like, you know what? I'm good. Also, uh, beautiful music. Just had to let it play out. What is this one? Awesome. Yeah, I just- I love- I love that song so much. Also, if you hadn't realized, we're in the past now, right? So... Is this the past or the present? I really don't know. We were in the future, right? So we went to the- we had a past pole, so are we in the present? I mean, I thought we were in the past because of all the lava and stuff. But, like, if you think about it this way, even in the past, there are these weird ping-pong paddles. So it's like... I guess... I guess, like, we would be right in assuming that Sonic's universe was inhabited by ancient people who loved ping pong. And it's just like, ping pong is one of those age-old things that will never die. Ping pong. Pinball. I'm sorry. You can, uh, you can erase your comment if you're about to say, Dylan, you mean pinball? Uh, so here's one of the new shields. We've got the, like, Earth shield, the rock shield, whatever. We basically become Toph from Last Airbender. Not the movie, the, uh, the show, of course. And if you press A in the air, he throws rocks along the ground. And then they respawn little by little. But let's head back to the future, because the, the present or the past is getting a little stale. And I really like the song from this version of the, uh, the level. But it's over already, and here we are! <laughs> oh dear. I don't remember this boss. Like, it has been a couple years, like I said, since I played this game. I do remember this boss itself, but I don't really remember what to do with it. Oh dear. Okay, well there goes the Earth Shield. I would very much appreciate it if you would, like, you know, back the hell off. What you aiming at? Are you gonna... Where are you going? Don't leave me over here alone. I need... I need parental guidance. I'm lost in an amusement park. Is he gonna... Okay, good, he's coming back. One more hit, really? I'm not surprised. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Then he's not going to explode? That's not very satisfying. <laughs> I mean, he exploded, but not, you know, the machine. Alright, here we go. Let's free these... I don't know... 10 million fireflies, I guess? Oh, no, they were... They were seeds. The seeds that can grow in metal. Those are some tough plants. I would not want to meet those in a dark alley. He'd be like, hey, buddy. I heard you were making fun of photosynthesis. And, again, with the seamless transition, Raging Ruins Zone. Neato. And now I'm getting Oil Ocean flashbacks because of the cannons. Oh, look, and it's my biggest fan. <laughs> I, I can't even... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna go, <laughs> I'm not gonna go down that road. 
So I didn't mention how this game plays, did I? Um, it plays very, very nicely. I'm using a controller. It feels just like a classic Sonic game. You have the, the Insta Shield, you have the Peel Out, and you have the Spin Dash. And you have all those fancy new elemental shields. You can play as Tails and Knuckles. It's just, I mean, it's it's basically like a perfect companion to existing classic Sonic games. And honestly, like, <laughs> I feel like Sega hired Christian Whitehead and all of his people who made really good ROM hacks and they made Sonic Mania. I would not be surprised if someday maybe the guy who made this was doing something for Sega because this is really impressive, honestly. Like, the development time for this game was very, very long. And off the top of my head, it was something like like eight plus years. I don't remember exactly. Oh, hello. Uh, I can't. I can't tell you exactly because I don't want to. I don't want to get that totally wrong. But eight. I'm, I'm gonna say eight plus because I like for some reason in my head I'm I'm thinking thirteen years, but that might not be right. I, I think it might be more like eight, but I'm not sure. Uh, but heck, it really shows because this game has a lot of polish, and it's really enjoyable. And I definitely want to stream it soon. And try to get all the emeralds, because I didn't get them when I was in the hospital. I just made it through the game, and I was like, meh, whatever. I'll get them some other time. So seeing the uh, the actual ending will be fun for me, in my opinion. Also, I'm leaving Metal Sonic in the dust. Eat it, Metal Sonic. I don't even see him anymore, but that remix is pretty nice. Kind of remind it's like, like both Metal Sonic themes in one, almost. And uh, the CD special stages, I think. I got the first time stone? Wait, what, what do you mean I got the first one? I thought this was the second zone. When did I get the first? That's weird. Uh, I don't really know what happened there. But, uh, oh look, he's rubbing his little nose, just like Toei Sonic. Beautiful. So yeah, um, I think that's all I'm gonna show off for today. I don't wanna go too long, because I will be streaming this at some point. So, uh, also, uh, like I asked with the Sonic after the sequel... Whoa! Look at you! <laughs> Goodbye! I was impressed by you, but still die, but... Anyway, yeah, like I said with the after the sequel video, any information on this game regarding, like, Chaos Emeralds and anything else that I would have to know without it being spoilers, because it's been a while, I don't want to have anything spoiled too much for me, uh, please let me know in the, the comments. And uh, aside from that, that's all I wanted to show off for today. Here's you again! The big chompy boy! Goodbye! Uh, so, if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic fan games and other things that aren't Sonic fan games, because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors. We've got Silva PhD, Tempest Requiem, Random Gamer 157, Beyond, Penguin Boy, Dad Beatley, 72, of course, not, you know, Seven, uh, zero through 71. Those are not the same person. Uh, Henry S., Rob Morrison, Dave Ace, Drawbits, Mega Traffico, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. It really means a lot. If you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.